what is a booktube I'm Yu Yu and welcome back to my channel today I will be doing another TBR bookshelf tour um, so I'm gonna show you guys what I haven't read yet but I do own so let's get into it the first thing I want to point out is um, my bookshelf is organized in alphabetical order by author on top of my TBR bookshelf I have my ukulele, um, Joe, and you might have seen him in a previous video where I talk about him. Um, I still can't play all of the chords, but I'm still learning. My roommate at the commune actually does play ukulele, so I'm learning and I'm getting there. <laughs> so, okay, then I have two books up here, which I haven't put in the which I haven't put in my shelf yet and those are two manga so I have um, volume one and volume two of Bleach I got these for my birthday from one of my good friends Anya thank you Anya um, I'm really excited to read them I have The Song of Ella Gray by David Alman Eve and Adam by my Michael Grant and Catherine Applegate. Love and Other Theories by Alexis Bass. Broken Monsters by Lauren Beagus. Anna Dressed in Blood by Kendir Blake. Cover the Mirrors by Faye L. Booth. The Bone Dragon by Alexia Cassell. Lady Midnight and this is a signed version uh, by Cassandra Clare. Then I have the first three books in the Magisterium series. I have the Iron Trail, The Copper Gauntlet, and The Bronze Key by Cassandra Clare and Holly Black. Boundaries by Dr. Henry, Hen uh, by Dr. Henry Cloud and Dr. John Townsend. Vivian vs. America by Kate Coyle. After the Show by S.D. Crockett. The Murder Complex by Lindsay Cummings. Say Her Name by James Dawson. The 10pm Question by Kate DeGoldi. And next by Sharon Dogger, Middlesex by Jeffrey Eugene, Eugene Nides, Eugene Nides, I don't know how to say it. The Shock of the Fall by Nathan Filer, Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn, Warning to Yes um, by Don French, The Coward's Tale by Vanessa Gebby, The Invisible City by M.J. Harris, M.G. Harris, sorry, Red Moon Rising by Paula Harrison, Frost Fire by Amanda Hawking, Crystal Kingdom by Amanda Hawking, the Little Old Lady Who Struck Lucky Again by Katharina Engelman Sun Sundberg. And then I have two books in the Iron Fae series. Um, I have Iron King and Iron Daughter by Julie Kagawa. On to the next shelf. So my next shelf is kind of messy because I have plugs there, so I need the Yo, so it's really not pretty, um, but the first book I have is Dear Everybody by Michael Kimball, The Night Shift by Stephen King, Lizzie's Story by Stephen King, Stephen King Goes to the Movies, The Outcasts of 19 Schuyler Place by Michelle Chris, Not If I See You First by Eric Lindstorm, When We Collided by Emery Lord, Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass, Wake by Lisa Man, Soundless by Rochelle Mead, and I'm not going to take this out. This is the Twilight series by Stephanie Meyer. So I have Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, and Breaking Dawn. I still haven't read them. I've read like two of them when I was in the seventh grade. The Host by Stephanie Meyer. Then I have Labyrinth by Kate Moss. Then I have Dumpling by Julie Murphy. The Ask and the Answer by Patrick Ness. I still need to find the first book. That's why I still haven't read them yet. But I can't find the knife of never letting go in a matching cover. Monsters of Men by Patrick Ness. Delirium by Lauren Oliver. The Wicked Will Rise by Danielle Page. Isla and the Happily Ever After by Stephanie Perkins. And Witch Child by Celia Reese. Okay, so you might be wondering why I have like sequels of books but I don't have the first ones. It's because I find the sequels for way cheaper than the first one. So then I buy the sequels when they're on sale and then I'll go look for the first book in a cheaper version later. Um, I buy the books as I get them depending on the sales because I really hate paying full price for books because here in South Africa it's super expensive. That's why I mainly buy um, Reader's Warehouse books. I order them. They're 
the cheapest that I can find most of the time. So my tripod can't go lower than this, so we'll have to lie down and talk to you. Okay, the first book I got down here is The Terminal by Kathy Riggs. Riggs. And her son Brandon Riggs, Brandon, sorry. Then I have a Withering Tights by Louise Renson. Then I have Dark Inside by Jane Roberts. The Casual Vacancy by Jackie Rowling. The Lovely Bones by Alice Sibyl. The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. In Zombie Land by Gina Showalter. Star by John Singleton. I have The Reptile Room. This is the second book of the series of Unfortunate Events and it's by Lemony Snicket. Then I have The Vile Village, also by Lemony Snicket. I have A Penultimate Peril by Lemony Snicket. This is book 12. And then I have The End by Lemony Snicket, which is the last book in the series of Unfortunate Events. So then I have The Shadow Study by Maria V. Schneider. The Raven Boys by... Maggie Stiefwater. Then I have Black Widow Forever Red by Margaret Stoll. Then I have The Wall by William Sutcliffe. Then I have Sandri Stein, The Monsters van Middernachtstraat by Theresa van Bonen. Uglies by Scott Westerfield. The Mobile Library by David Whitehouse. The Poison Diaries by... What? It's by two people. Um, just check by Ma Mary Rose Wood, based on the concept by Duchess of Northumberland. So then I have Boy Nobody by Alan Zadon. And then, last but not least, I have The Book Thief by Marcus Suzak, which I st and I hate myself for not reading these books. I have so many books in my TBR and I feel like crying and I just ordered more books so I have quite a few books to read before I have another empty shelf. I'm so tired. I, I don't want to get up now. Yeah so that is my TBR shelf and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, thank you for liking and subscribing. Please comment down below what your next book is that you want to read that's on your TBR. Maybe we can have the same one and we can like buddy read or something. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye!